the destruction, disaster, devastation, displacement, death, the country's painful reality as the heavy rains pound and bathed raging waters and tumbled earth. During our first briefing, you do recall that the number then was 116. That was on 20th of April. When we did our second briefing, the number had risen from 116 to 164. To the last briefing when we were here, we were at 194. As we speak today, we are 237. Those Kenyans who are affected, in terms of households affected, we did disclose to you in the last briefing, we had 122,000 Kenyans affected. As of this morning, that number has risen significantly to 161,000 households affected, meaning we have almost 800,000, 807,000 Kenyans who are affected by these floods. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa says that the number of Kenyans who have died as a result of floods is huge compared to those who have succumbed as a result of COVID-19. Therefore, Kenyans are urged to follow all directives from the government, especially those ones who are coming from flood or mudslide prone areas. But the worst affected is Lake Victoria. Over 44,000 people have been displaced in Budalangi alone. In Nyando, we have a higher number, over 60,000 who have been displaced. The number of those affected is expected to rise as many dams are overflowing. Garissa, Tana River, Mandera and Nakuru are among counties that have been hit hard. This situation, unfortunate as it is, has been attributed to people's bad behavior. Nature is unforgiving. We have cleared off forest. We have cleared off uh, forest from escarpments, hilltops, and also from the slopes. Secondly, we have built up to the rivers, the river banks. For the weekend, again, suffer an additional a problem with the other water source into Nairobi from Sasumua Dam also being affected, which means now the turbidity of the water from Ngedo main distribution uh, combined with the Sasumua Dam is giving us a shortfall of about 20% of the water that we require in, in Nairobi. Given the impact of the mudslides and the distribution networks being affected, to use water that is being availed also responsibly. The Kenya Meteorological Department predicts that the heavy rains in the country will continue until the month of June. Last week, Moranga, for example, received 150 millimeters of rains in seven days. And this is a mudslide prone area. The devolution CS says that affected families will receive support from the national government. This includes water tracking to the camps as well as relief food. Unscrupulous officials were mishandling the distribution of the relief food by illegitimately diverting it will face the full force of the law. Sharon Baranga, NTV.